Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. If you are a divine feminine listening to this reading, I really recommend heading over to Instagram and checking out my recent post about some of the intense energetic changes happening particularly for divine feminines right now on the planet. And you can follow me there on Instagram at magnetize yourself if you do feel guided to that particular energy update post. But in this video, I wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up because the energies have been very, very intense. And for a group of Divine Feminines listening on this channel, I feel some triggering energies coming up as well, meaning that you may have experienced an interaction, a conversation, Something in your life, maybe a life circumstance that caused deep, heavy emotion to come up within you. And for whoever I'm channeling in this reading, this feels like something that you're feeling, something you're processing that might be kind of confusing to you because this might feel like something from your distant past I'm hearing it almost felt like another life. So you could be someone who feels like you've lived many different lives, so to speak, in this one physical lifetime. You, whoever I'm speaking to here, I don't know who you are, but I know that you are someone who has been through so much, so much pain and you've repressed a lot of this pain in order to be the strong one for people around you. But now a lot of that pain you've been repressing is being triggered or brought up to the surface. Sometimes these triggers will be conscious. Again, there could be an interaction, a conversation, an experience. But for others of you, they will be deeply unconscious triggers, meaning something about the energies pulls up these feelings within you. I'm seeing cobwebs and dust, which symbolically means that whatever's coming up for you does have that feeling of being something from your past, potentially something from many, many years ago, even decades ago, that maybe you haven't thought about consciously in a long time. Again, whoever this is for, I keep hearing the word trauma, so there could be a lot of trauma from your past in the form of these repressed emotions. A lot of the emotions coming up feel like from a really young age, you had to, again, be the strong one. You had to put on some kind of a front. You weren't allowed to feel at the time what was coming up for you. You had to shove it down in order to survive. I'm hearing survival mode. So you may be someone who feels like you lived a lot of your childhood in this survival mode, emotionally or physically. You may have felt as though you... We're on this kind of autopilot. I'm hearing dissociation. So you may be someone who dissociates, who blinks out for periods of time when really at times this could be some kind of trauma response left over from your childhood. This may have been something you did as a child. I'm hearing Ruby. I don't know if this is a name for someone or in connection with a ruby gemstone or the color red potentially do keep in mind however and i just saw the number 444 i do channel many different specific people names details pieces of information so only take what connects for you personally throughout these readings also this reading does feel like one of those that is pretty hyper specific to a group of people so this reading will not be for everyone only take it if it is for you 
With that being said, however, if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, be sure to like the video and also double check that you are subscribed to the channel because liking and subscribing are forms of energy transfer and this allows me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you. So the first card we have here is the blue flame spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time, and I'm hearing chosen one. So you beautiful soul are a chosen one in the sense that your soul chose to incarnate amongst a family, a community, potentially a cultural group that was very unconscious for the purpose of being the spark that would ignite a flame of mass awakening. I keep hearing you are the spark. There are a certain number of very advanced souls that have been coming to the planet in recent times in human history in order to be those sparks. And just like if you want to ignite a whole area, if you want to set something aflame, you will strategically plant the sparks in different places. And then all of those ignited fires will feed into each other and ignite in this one giant flame. That giant flame in the metaphor is the mass awakening happening on the planet and you are one of those very important and intentionally planted sparks within collective consciousness. However, I feel that in order to be this spark, there had to be a training period. There had to be a time in your life where you yourself, for a period of time, I see this being potentially early in your life into possibly young adulthood, where you were assimilating into this very unconscious realm, where you were plugging yourself into these limiting belief systems, this matrix that we live in, the unique set of rigid ideologies that may have been around you, around your family, you as a soul chose to plug yourself into all of those things to over the course of time. And I see this segment of time. It's almost like I'm seeing the vantage point of this physical incarnation as your soul planned it out and saw it prior to incarnating here when you were creating that soul blueprint for your life. And first of all, you are a very ancient soul and you knew that you were taking on a lot. And I feel that prior to incarnating here, other souls around you that were also very advanced that you consider to be like very deep soul bonds who wouldn't actually be physically incarnated with you. Some of these people or really rather souls in the spirit realm remained behind as these so-called spirit guides, but I feel them kind of questioning you in that in-between place between lives and saying to you, are you sure you can take this on? And also we will be there to support you and to assist you, but you know what it's like being human. You've done this a lot of times. You know what it's like when you forget your soul eternal nature and come to this planet and how easy it is to get caught up in all of these 3D things and to feel all of the weight, all of the heaviness of that. And specifically, they were concerned that this life would be too lonely for you. And you assured them prior to coming here, I can handle this. I'm ready for this. I know it's going to be hard, particularly because it's going to be lonely, but I'm ready. And I want to experience this because I want to be part of this really powerful, Powerful, spiritual and energetic activation time on planet earth. I want to play my role in that. And specifically for some of you, there actually may have been a family member who incarnated here before you and you saw this family member struggling and wanted to incarnate in order to assist them. So for some of you, this may have been a parent, this may have been a grandparent, someone who is potentially part of your soul group or soul family. And for a while, you may have been remaining behind as 
one of this person's spirit guides, but things became very, very challenging, heavy for this person. I keep hearing this person may have really struggled with deep, dark emotional patterns and dynamics. They may have been very sad in this lifetime. And there's something here about you seeing that sadness and wanting to incarnate to bring this person hope or joy or comfort. Particularly, I keep seeing that for some of you divine feminines, this was a grandmother or a great grandmother that you may have met when you were a small child or had some kind of connection with where you brought them hope or light or comfort when they were really struggling on the planet, but do take this as it resonates for you. I just feel there was some older soul in terms of earth years who was incarnated before you on planet earth and you in the spirit realm saw this person and wanted to come in and support and assist them. But the thing is, like I said, for a period of time, you had to live unconsciously in order to learn the human ways, so to speak, in order to learn these very intense, negative, limiting patterns and dynamics. And you may have felt that you fell really heavily into some of these things. You may have been part of a really rigid ideology, culture, belief system that for a while you fully bought into. You may have been someone that simply bought into the limiting beliefs society implants into our subconscious minds around loving, accepting, embracing yourself completely, around embracing your emotions and your ability to channel those emotions into beautiful art that you would then see the value in. I'm seeing these potentially being themes around the things that you may have fallen into thinking negatively about. You may have been someone who for a while rejected your emotions, rejected the value in your art. If you are an artist in some sense, whether it's music, business, creating connections with other people, you are the artist of your life. And for a while, you may have voluntarily as a soul chosen to forget the value in what you could create on this planet. I keep hearing like you rejected parts of yourself that were your greatest gifts or your greatest value because humankind taught you to reject these things. But all of this was planned on a soul level so that when that spark ignited within you, it would be more powerful because everything has an opposite effect. And the more that you take on darkness, heaviness, limiting belief systems and patterns, the more shadows you take on as a soul, the more potential there is for radical exponential growth expansion, the more space you're able to carve out within yourself through experiencing those shadows. And that space carved out within is how you carry the light but that carving out process has been very, very challenging for you. I'm getting the name Teresa for someone. This also could symbolically be Mother Teresa. You may be someone who is a very generous, compassionate, giving person. I feel that I'm hearing hearts of gold, that other people see you as having this heart of gold. And yet it's almost unexpected because it's amazing looking at your life path, seeing how much you've been through. It is nothing short of amazing that you are the type of person who is still capable of, of being so pure hearted, of caring so much for other people because, and I am tearing up during your reading. I know you guys can hear it, but it's just so emotionally charged, looking back on your life, seeing everything you've gone through. I'm getting the name Taylor for someone. Seeing everything you've gone through and knowing that you have taken all of the pain life has given you and channeled that emotion into beauty, into art, into this magnificent life that you are now envisioning for yourself and for the people around you that you are now creating. 
And although it's been very painful, your guides are coming in to remind you nothing has gone wrong. Everything is going according to plan with the strategy card in the upright position. Someone might be connecting with the numbers 21 or the number 12. Wow, very intense and emotional reading coming through for you. So I am going to be channeling more messages and any other pieces of information you need to know at this time. But first, I also do want to share with you my most powerful tool for manifesting, for energy clearing, and this is subliminal meditation. So I personally started using subliminals a few years ago and by far saw the most results of any other manifestation tool I had used previously. And this is because subliminals are designed to bypass the conscious filter of your mind and make deep, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. And as research has shown, it's actually the subconscious that is the powerhouse of the mind. The subconscious controls 95% of our thoughts actions, and outcomes in life. So rewriting and reprogramming your subconscious through listening to subliminals is one powerful tool for rapidly beginning to manifest in your life to shift your energy in powerful ways. And as you can see on the screen on my website, soundandsoulful.com, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence, happiness, anxiety relief, for money, for business, and so much more. So for you specifically, I'm going to be leaving a link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal. So this subliminal is designed just for the Divine Feminine to really help to pull you back into alignment with your true power, to help you access that flow state of manifestation where you effortlessly begin to attract and pull to you your dreams and desires in life. So the link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. And on my website, when you sign up for a seven-day free trial account, you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days. They're all available in multiple different background sound options, and you can also create your own custom private playlists. So again, all of the information on that is linked under the video. Okay, so what else do your spirit guides want you to know right now? Okay, so right now, someone might be feeling really emotionally or energetically overwhelmed or unbalanced with angel of balance reversed. There's something about four years coming out for a particular person. This feels like it's just for one person, but you may be in some kind of four year cycle that is really coming to a close, coming to a conclusion. This feels like whether it's four years or less or more, it feels divine feminine, like part of the emotions being triggered within you are because you are coming to the end of a cycle. I also feel that with victory reversed, you might be feeling really hopeless at times. You might be feeling like you're spiraling out or not really making progress in your life. But as I mentioned in my Instagram post recently, this spiraling out feeling is actually metaphorically like a spiral staircase. So it might feel like you're running in circles, but really you're running up. You are being elevated. But I do sense with the garden and the gate reversed that part of what's coming up for you is you learning to be really vulnerable, really raw, really open with yourself about parts of your past or your inner self that you may have been rejecting for a really long time. I'm hearing your guides say, you don't have to be the strong one anymore. Early in your life, as we mentioned earlier in the reading, you may have felt the need to always be strong for people around you and in doing so to actually repress 
the emotions within yourself that you would label as negative but now i feel you've come to a point in time in your emotional and spiritual development where you're actually being asked to feel those emotions that were pent up and repressed within yourself because those emotions represent like these remnant shadows within you, these deeply unconscious parts of yourself that are still impacting you at times, but also that carry the potential to help you carve out even more capacity to carry light within yourself. And I do feel that that carving out process for you can be really painful because there has been a lot of shadow accumulated through your unique life circumstances, life experiences, and interactions in this incarnation. You took on a lot more shadow than most human souls choose to take on in a single lifetime. I'm hearing your guides say most people don't take on this much shadow even in 10 lifetimes, which by the way is part of why you might feel like you've lived so many lives because you've been through so much pain you've carried so much darkness within yourself but that is because your soul chose to take on all of that shadow all of that darkness because it equally knew the potential for rapid expansion spiritual activation spiritual growth and development you really chose an exponential path you might have always had this feeling as though you were playing life in hard mode, like other people had an easier set of circumstances given to them and you were playing life at the most challenging level and your guides are kind of teasing you because that actually is kind of the case at a soul level. You chose not to live life on easy mode. You chose to take on these immense challenges because you knew you were at a level where you were capable as a soul of handling it. But of course, that doesn't mean that it hasn't been challenging for you because it has been. It's really pushed you to your limits, your breaking point. And I'm even hearing you say that there were times you did almost feel pushed to that absolute breaking point in this lifetime. And yet here you are still breathing, still standing, and not just that, but still being this beacon of unconditional love that you are. And I just want to take a moment in this reading to say, whoever you are, wherever you are on the planet, I see all you've been through. I sense it. And I admire you so deeply for continuing to carry so much love for other people within yourself in spite of how other humans may have mistreated you in the past. We have the angel of love card in the upright position and this is you here on planet earth showing other humans that you can go through so much pain, so much trauma, so much hardship and come out on the other side of it one of the most compassionate and loving and caring people imaginable. You are a true alchemist because you know the art or you are learning the very challenging and yet powerful art of taking really heavy, challenging circumstances in life and transmuting them into light, transmuting them into things of great value to yourself and others. I hear you say everything I touch turns to gold and I don't just mean gold in terms of material abundance although I do see that as you have been learning this art of alchemy you now consciously can choose to begin creating abundance in your life as well in whatever way that means for you and maybe this is something you've already been working on creating in your life and found success with but if not that is something that you are that you are learning and an ability that you now have as a soul because I keep hearing 
the great opportunities you are going to be blessed with and the success and the abundance you are going to be blessed with are coming to you because you've been through so much hardship that you've learned to transmute into this great value within yourself because you haven't let yourself be defeated by the so-called spiritual training courses that you've gone through in this lifetime. What else does the person listening to this reading need to know? And I keep hearing you're going to be teaching others how to do this as well. Because with the throat chakra upright, lately your spiritual activation has really been centered around activating your true voice, beginning to speak out. For some reason, I'm seeing someone speaking out about injustices, either in their own life, in the lives of people around them, someone who is really standing up for themselves. I Wow, I'm so proud of you. I'm getting chills all over because I feel that for a long time, you may have been victimized by a person, by a group of people, by a situation, and you are calling back your power like the goddess that you are, and you are speaking your truth. You are taking no you-know-what from other people around you, and it is so powerful you are really empowering yourself. And not only that, but through speaking your truth, through speaking out, you are empowering others to speak their truth as well. With sacral chakra, I keep hearing you are a warrior, a warrior for justice and truth on the planet. And you're really coming into that warrior spirit within yourself. With the sacral chakra reversed, this speaking of your truth is It doesn't look pretty on the surface all the time. I see someone crying, having breakdowns. You may have moments where you really do feel so raw, where you feel so vulnerable. But the thing is, this is all part of the process of you really getting into alignment with truth, with your own truth, and having the courage to speak that truth. I'm hearing even if your voice shakes to stand up for yourself and other people, you have so much to be proud of. And I'm saying that because I feel you're the type of person who doesn't hear other people saying, I'm proud of you as much as you need to hear it. You may have not heard this from a parent growing up as much as you needed to hear it. So your inner child is now asking you to say that to yourself, to look in the mirror and say, I'm so proud of you for speaking your truth, even when it's hard, for doing this work, even when it's messy. And This whole reading has been one of my most emotionally charged readings and that's because someone in our community, maybe a group of people, has really needed to hear this today and really manifested this. So if that was you, I would love for you to leave me a comment under the video and let me know what connected with you. I am sending you so much love and so much support at this time, at a time when you might be feeling alone in this intense period of self-empowerment. You are not alone, even if it feels that way sometimes. I really hope that if this reading resonated with you, you will subscribe to this channel and join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Of course, you can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. The link to the Awakened Divine Feminine Subliminal Meditation is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. Otherwise, I am wishing you the most beautiful day. Keep having the courage to speak your truth. Be the warrior that you are and shine your light. Your impact is so much greater than you can even imagine. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you again in the next video.